Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke episode 5 with myself, Rudy Patootie here. We are going to hop right into this one. I uh, haven't played in a while. I, my first few episodes were highly bulk recorded. And so we're just going to get right into this. Right now we're going to go through the cave and we're going to deliver this letter to Mr. Steven. And uh, I'm pretty sure I healed up. Pretty sure I healed up before we came out here. We're going to find out right now though. Uh, let's see here. So we got a Hariyama. Go Yopo. The Sylveon. Oh, I should have did a team recap. Son of a gun. Oh, we are way high. Way highly leveled over these foos. Let's see here. Let's do a quick team recap before we get to the Steven uh, cutscene that we're going to have to like try to get through as fast as we can. So let's see here. We have Sylveon, aka Yopo, with sniper ability. We have Politoed, aka Prince, with the guts ability. We have Zane, aka Marshawn, with natural cure. So far, I mean, these are all three, like, abilities that are phenomenal. Number four, we have Fries, aka the Blaziken, who my cousin Cody, aka Tig, has definitely told me that he hates this nickname. And you know what? That's what I got. He has Infiltrator ability, which is not the best, but it is pretty nice. Uh, Sturdy on Ampharos, a.k.a. Margarine, which if you don't get that joke, you're going to have to go back and watch some previous episodes. That's like an inside joke to the series. I was just moving my mouse out of the way. Uh, he has Sturdy, which is absolutely disgustingly good. And then we have Pidgeotto, who is the first one with ability that's not the greatest. Uh, has Torrent for water-type moves. And then that is it. Sylveon is, we're back to Sylveon. So that is our squad. Five out of our six members have phenomenal phenomenal abilities um and i remember so what i wanted to tell you guys so off came i've been playing a randomizer of ruby the game boy version of the game and i've been doing that so i can get ahead of this game so that way i don't get confused uh because i haven't played ruby like in a long time and i don't like if i ever played omega ruby that's been like a long time too but i don't know if i even played like omega ruby to be honest i'm pretty sure i did but i'm not 100 percent confident where after like actually playing this game and like look, going through all these scenes and stuff so i wanted to play ruby uh just to you know like remember like what to do so i don't spend a whole episode being confused like i did in the previous uh series which was pokemon x nuzlocke i'm not gonna read through all this i'm just gonna skip through all this this is to steven telling me all right i'm giving steven his letter and then he's gonna tell me to go to slate port um so but one thing though that i have found with the other with the game boy version and so that's running on a totally different emulator, which is nice because the randomizer on that is way easier. Like, so for instance, in this game, if you guys don't remember, or you're just now joining the series, I was unable to successfully randomize the TMs that like gym leaders give you and all that stuff. And I was unable to randomize the abilities of the Pokemon, of the, not the abilities, um, the field items, like on the ground, like when you pick up a Pokeball like what that could be so i was unable to randomize that successfully and then what else? oh then the other thing i accidentally did which i actually don't regret this anymore was i made it so every wild pokemon every pokemon including wild and trainers all are holding a random item so i don't really mind that one but in my other emulator on just for the game boy all of the uh like randomizes and all that stuff that i did all work perfectly and it was way faster to do that and so, like, I don't regret playing Oras because I'm definitely having fun playing this. But now I know, like, if I ever want to do a Game Boy version emulator, that is going to be, like, even more fun. Obviously, like, I'm going to take the time because there's a ton of 3DS games. Like, I, you know, there's, like, Sun and Moon that I want to do. I never played Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. So I definitely want to do, do those eventually. And I just have to figure out how to get the randomizers to work properly. I just, I guess I'm just dumb. So I don't know. But here we are. We are arriving here on Sleeper. I'm going to turn up this volume for myself a little bit. I'm going to get immersed into the land. I just had to turn down the overall volume of this game. So that way, when you guys are watching it, we're not blowing out your ears. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to avoid all these battles. And I'm going to go to the Pokemart and buy some Pokeballs. And then I'm going to go fishing. Yeah, then I'm going to go fishing and get an encounter. So that's the plan right now. So we're in Slateport City. We are going to go up here. We're going to skip past this old lady. Skip past this person. That's the Pokemon Center. Don't want that. Here we are. The Pokemart is what we want. And we need to... Actually, do we have... Do we have a uh, healing? So we have three Pokeballs. 
one repel. Oh, we have one gray ball. So one Pokeball, one gray ball. And then we have 12 regular potions. We have an energy powder. And that is it. Okay. So we definitely... Okay, so I guess we have 12 potions. That's not too bad. But I want to see if we can get some super potions. Ideally. So let's see what we can get here. We definitely need some more Pokemon. We only have 10,000. Um, How many like gray balls could that get us? 16 gray balls? Okay, so that should get us... Oh, 50 Pokeballs. So let's do 15 more Pokeballs. Uh, I'd rather just do Pokeballs over Great Balls right now. Just because I I just feel like if I run into a Mon that is that hard to catch where you need like a Great Ball or, or an Ultra Ball, I think I would rather have a ton of Pokeballs rather than less Great Balls, you know? So we'll do that. Uh, and then we're going to... I think I should just get 10, 10 Potions now. I don't really like Super Potions. I mean, 50 to 200... Ah, uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna go out. Let's just get, like, we'll get three hypers, and then we'll do the rest in supers. Because we don't, like, we're just gonna spend, oops, we're just gonna spend all of our money here, right here, right now. Might as well. I mean, let's just, let's just get all stocked up. I mean, we do have, like, 12 potions as well, so we're pretty stocked up now. So now, like, I just want to get fully stocked up so we can go through the game, and we don't have to keep running back to this town and hitting up the Pokemon Center. You know, let's just progress with the story. But before we go through with the story... Let's go get this encounter out here because this is a new encounter. We are in Route 109. Oh, crap. Is Route 109 a new encounter? Or is Route 109 the same encounter as... How do I get to the map? Is Route 109 the same encounter as me fishing out there? Do I not have a map? Oh, was I supposed to go talk to my mom for a map? Uh-oh, spaghetti -oosh. Options. Let's put this so fast. Oh, crap. I don't even know. I feel like this has to be a different route, right? Where in the heck is my freaking map, though? Oh, I got to do it like this. I am on the map. Like, I forgot we're on the... Here we go. Okay, so let's see here. Can I... This is route 109. I got to get on the mouse here. So this is 107 by Duford. So we are good to go. I had to get on the old mouse to do that. Oh, now how to get out of here. There we go. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Okay, so we we are, in fact, good to do a little bit of fishing. Let's do some fishing, and let's get an encounter, shall we? Let's see what this encounter be, Route 109 encounter. What? I reeled into so Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, while we're doing this fishing, let's go ahead and take a look at my new, my new bottle I've been drinking out of. It is the Franciscan bottle, the hospital. The hospital brands that my wife works at. Okay, not like the old cup I used to drink out of. That's old news. So we got a Weavile here. Only level 10. I feel like we should be able to do a quick attack without killing this thing, right? But Zeopol is just fairy type. Not fairy normal, I believe. So you won't get stabbed out of this. Oh, yeah. We are super good for that. Okay. So good. He's going to go for a faint attack. No problem there. Not very effective. So we can go for another quick attack. Get him in the red. Or, at the very least, the yellow. And then we could potentially switch to Margarine and Thunder Wave here. But, should we... Do we even... I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just to, like, save as many... Save as many Pokeballs as I can. You know, if I can catch him in one Pokeball with him being paralyzed. Compared to, like, two or three with him not being paralyzed. We're going to save as many as we can. Oh, he literally just used Taunt, right? Was I was about to use Thunder Wave. Well... Forget about it. We're just going to go ahead and we're just going to throw some Pokeballs. So let's go ahead. Toss the first Pokeball at Weavile here. Mr. Weavile, man, I need you to stay in your corner. You didn't even... He didn't even think about staying in there. Okay, we're going to throw... Let's just throw the Great Ball. Let's throw the one Great Ball we have. I mean, he didn't even shake one time. And he's in the red. Why did he not shake one single time? Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to switch out, switch back in, and then use Thunder Wave. I cannot believe that he... Oh, there we go. Taunt wore off. I can't believe he hasn't shaken... Uh, not even once. All right, he used Leer. If he would use Taunt again there, I would have lost my marbles. For sure, would have lost my marbles. So I'm going to use Thunder Wave. Bang, bang. Thunder Waved it up. Dude, there we go. Paralyzed. All right, let's throw a ball. Another ball. Let's do this. Get, take another drink of our G Fuel. Got to get amped. I only specified what was in the drink. Because it's dark green. 
And, and you guys are judging me. Otherwise, I would not have specified. Okay. Well, actually, it doesn't matter that you taunted me. I've already thunderwaved you. See, this is a time. So, oh, here's another thing. Another thing I found out with the other emulators, the like a normal DS emulator and the Game Boy emulator, is the speed up mechanic is actually like it's good and it works like way better. I can actually configure it to my controller. Where on this emulator, I have not found figured out how to uh, configure it to my controller. And when I do actually hit speed up, it freezes in my recording, so I can't actually speed up. Uh, I figured that in the Pokemon X and I was like, I remember I recorded a whole episode one time and it none of it recorded uh, because I had used the speed up button one time. So we're going to go ahead and name this male Weavile here. Let's name it. Let's name it Wally. Not really great at nicknames and I don't care. I just don't want to spend too much time on this. Wally has been transferred to box number one. So there we go. We got it on our encounter. Um, I honestly... I don't know if I want to like waste my time battling these guys, but I kind of feel like I should. Let's see what level Fisherman Lola float float up, floats e floats is. This is a man, dude. I'm really bad at. I'm gonna assume this is a grass type. So let's go. Let's just hit him with a draining kiss. And matter of fact, I'm not scared. I'm just gonna Google some stuff. Oh wait, see, look, I I find click away and I go for a Google. The thing freezes. So I can't even just Google it. Unless I do my phone, I'm not going to do that. So we're fine. We are fine here. Let's just go ahead. Will a quick attack just finish you off? A quick attack should just finish him off. Alright, there we go. I just know, I, I know this mod is in like one of the cutscenes in one of the games. The old man's like trying to find it, but it's been like thousands of years or something crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking all that. I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. But... I don't even know. I think we're good. We're just going to continue on to the story. If we need to come back and fight some trainers, we will. Otherwise, we're good to go. Do you give me anything? No, you just talk about the lighthouse. I don't care about the lighthouse, though. I don't care about the lighthouse at all. Oh, dude, we are cruising along right now. So let's see. Let's find... Not you. So it's back here. Is I'm looking for the... Oh, here it is. This building, right? What do you... Find Captain Stern, I believe is his name. There's Captain Stern right over. Yeah, dude, this game is so much easier. Look, they show you exactly where Captain Stern is. Like, here, you don't have to um, go searching. You just walk through the door. We'll take care of the rest. Oh, sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a fairy. Oh, those parts you have, those are Devon parts? Hmm, this won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably out of the Oceanic Museum. Sorry, but could I ask you to find him? Yes, now this is where I can go fight Team Magma. And I'm pretty sure one of them is going to give me a TM. I'm like 99% sure of that. So hopefully... Actually, it's not going to be randomized. So never mind. Because that's one of the many things I was unable to get to randomize in this. But that is A-OK. -okay. Are you still going to make me pay 50 bucks? Ah, uh, yeah, you are. What if I didn't have 50 bucks? Okay. Do I just not get to proceed? All right, which one of these guys have... have I think it's this guy. Yeah, this guy is going to give me... What are you doing here? Me, I'm Team Magma member. You thumped me before, remember? Here, take this to forgive me. Thief. TM46 Thief. We're going to check our bag to make sure that is, in fact, what we got. And it was not randomized. Although, I'm pretty sure that it, it was not randomized. I'm pretty sure we did, in fact, get Thief. So, let's see here. Yeah, we did, in fact, get Thief. Yeah, this is one thing, though, I do like about the, the newer... The DS games and all that stuff is that you can, like, see who can learn it by just hovering over it. I like that compared to the Game Boy. So let's go ahead. Let's get over here. What? Hello? Oh, there you are. He was hiding from me. <laughs> What's up, bro? What up, Captain Stern? You looking for Stern? That would be me. Oh, those must be the parts from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for expedition at last. Oh, here we go. Team Magma marching at us. What up, Team Magma? You want to go? You don't want this. I'm telling you right now, Team Magma. You don't want this. You don't. You do not want this. Oh my goodness, Team Magma. You came a bug maniac. Gastrodon. Okay. Does this Gastrodon? Oh, abilities are changed. So we are good. He does not have Storm Drain for one. But we don't even need to switch. We are good just right here with Yopal. So let's go ahead and hit him with the. See, the only thing that sucks about Drink is it only has 10 power points. And um, I don't like that. I wish I had like at least 15. He's going to use Harden now. Okay. Yikes. 
Don't use Harden. Your defense is rising. I'm pretty sure I'm using a special attack. I am using a special. Yeah, Dragon Kiss is only 50 power too. Oh boy. We're cool though. As long as he doesn't use recover and just like slow us down here. Mud Bomb. We're good on that. That. Okay, we're good on that. We are good on that. Let's go ahead for a quick attack. Hopefully he doesn't recover. Even though I would outspeed him anyway. I still want to use all my Dragon. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? There. I forgot he used Harden, too. Son of a gun. Super Gastrodons. Gastron, you dead snail. Oh, look at me. Yopo leveling up to 24 out here. That's what I'm talking... Dude, Yopo's killing it. Yeah, what is my... Special attack is a 67 right now. Okay. Defense, 35. Special defense, 70. So we can... We can take... We can take a special hit. Mercs, grew to level 21. Good job, Mercs. How? How? I received $640. Good. I need more potions. I'm certain I was defeated by this child. Yeah, who's next? You want to find me too? You want to find me too, sucker? Bring it on. Bring it on, sucker. Secret base trainer. Why is everyone secret base trainer? You guys are so lame. My Lodic. What up, my Lodic? We are going to do... So I know that this thing is a bulky. I'm pretty sure my Lodic is bulky. So we're just going to go for a flash just because... Oh, we got a little bit of stutter there. Oh, a little bit stutter. We're gonna go for a flash just to make its accuracy drop a little bit. Because I know he's a bulky boy, and I don't want him to land hits like this on me. Yeah, no need for that to be hitting. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We forgot to go to the Pokemon Center and see what our Weavile's ability and item was. Well, we're gonna have to do that after this. Yopo, use Water Sport. Wow, okay, way to weaken. What does that do? Weaken fire moves, right? Yeah, okay. We're not even using fire moves out here, my Lodic. You silly goose, what are you doing? Use disarming voice, didn't even miss. So my flash was basically useless because now we're going to go for a quick attack to save our 5 PP on draining kiss. Bang, bang, bang. We are going up. Who is freaking next? Who is next? Prince, go to level 22. Let's go, Prince. Fries, 22. Margarine, 20. Margarine wants to learn takedown. Takedown is kind of scary. But we're going to do it over tackle. For sure. Because that's 50. And what is takedown? Like 100? Son of a gun. Does 90. Oh, and the accuracy is only 85? And I hit myself. Uh, You know, honestly, I feel like I don't even want to learn tackle. Or takedown, honestly. Because it only has 85 accuracy. It's sure, it's doing 90 damage. But I take damage, too. And how often am I really going to be needing... We're just gonna do it. I mean, I'm never, I'm not hardly gonna be needing a normal attack anyway. And when I do, I wanted to actually do some damage. But it is scary that I do my own, like I do damage to myself. Marowak. Uh, let's go to Zane. Zane here from Marowak. What up, Marrow? Zane, the Marsh Tom looking boy. Dude, Marowak is looking scary. Dude, speaking of Marowak. I watched, finally, Detective Pikachu, the movie Detective Pikachu, and uh, for those of you, are you shaking your butt at me? I'm going to do a little cough over here. For for the people out there who say Det Detective Pikachu was not a good movie, just because it wasn't like a regular Pokemon movie in the regular Pokemon world, you're lame, okay? Detective Pikachu was funny, and I thought it was good, Okay. And the reason why that made me think of that, Marowak, is because the Cubone in the beginning of the movie, if you didn't watch it, you should go watch it. If you watched it and you went in there th like knowing you didn't want it to be good, go watch it again and stop being a baby, okay? Stop being a Gen 1 -er. You freaking boomers. Go watch Detective Pikachu and just enjoy it. It's a good movie. Okay, I don't want to hear your voice, but I feel like I need to... Uh... I should know. I know exactly where to go. I was going to say, I feel like I should read what he's saying so I know where to go, but I know where to go. I know where to go. Okay, come on. I'm slamming. I'm slamming A right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one cares. KT Magma, I'm coming for you, dog. I am coming for you, dog. Young man. Ah, D, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes. I almost forgot that you brought the parts from Devon. Devon. Hand it over the Devon parts to Captain Sturm. That is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks and excuse me. You are so welcome. 
I honestly don't know why I could not have just left those parts in your warehouse with the, uh, with the dot guy or whatever. But what do I know? Look at all these people now. You charge me 50 bucks to get in the museum when those Team Magma was stopping customers from coming in. What is wrong with you, museum? I want my 50 bucks back. I'm out here saving the world, and you are taking my 50 bucks for your stupid museum. I didn't want to. I don't care about your museum. I was just delivering parts. So let's go ahead and heal up, and then we're going to look at our Weavile's, aka Wally's abilities and held item. So let's go to someone's PC, organize boxes, and what does Wally have for us? He has white smoke and a camera update. Ooh. Let's go ahead and definitely take this camera update in case we ever get a camera up. And then what does white smoke do? I feel like that makes it so you have a chance of... Okay, prevents other Pokemon from lowering its stats. That's actually pretty nice. That's actually a really good ability, but... I feel like if I were to get rid of anyone on this team right now, it would have to be Prince, just because he's a water type, and we already have a water type in Marsh Tomp, and I'm definitely not going to get rid of Marsh Tomp. No doubt about that. Uh, I kind of feel like we have to do that. I mean, it gives me dark, gives me ice, which is nice for sure. I already have fairy. I don't really need two water types, especially... I mean, that's an electric type weakness. This is an electric type weakness. We don't need two of those. We don't need two electric type weaknesses. The only thing, I mean, here's the thing though. Prince has hypnosis, which is super good for. And Parasong. I mean, hypnosis is good for catching mons. Parasong is good for something I, that is just stalling me out hardcore. I can just use Parasong and then switch. Hmm. I feel like I have to do it, though. I mean, I feel like I have to do it. If if something were to go down, I can easily come back to you, Prince. But for now, I have to do this. Do I have anything dead? I don't think I do. Doesn't look like it. Good. I don't think I had anything get beat yet. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I know he's like a super low level, but, I mean, you get the whole team experience share in this game. So I'm just A-OK -okay with that. So we don't care about the cute contest. We don't care about any of this mumbo-jumbo. Who wants to come fight me? Ah, uh, that's Lisa and Allie doing a shoot over there. Are you serious, Lisa? Let's go. Oh, are you really going to make me do the contest? Oh, no. Oh, wait. I came following. I was just stalking these guys. I was like, oh, where are you guys going? I want to go. Okay. Watch me dive right in again. Is this for the stupid... Oh, my goodness. I'm going to spill my drink. My, uh, my bottle... Doesn't like it barely fits on the cup. Um, what the heck kind of a move is she doing? This is a kid game. I don't care about the stupid contest. My cup here though barely fits on the co coaster or whatever. I just don't want to get like any any liquids on my desk. It's a wood desk. You there watching me with that battle baffled expression on your face? Hi, have you never joined a contest? That's what I want to hear. Do I really have to do a stupid contest? Oh my goodness. This is the train I'm going to scout today. And his name is... D. When I took good, when I take a good look, I could easily see that D is a powerful trainer with several badges on his own already. You can enjoy the contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Center Hall right here. Now listen up because I don't want to see you making your Pokemon too strong. I want you to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go. Take these. This is a contest pass, which is the first thing that anyone take part of. Do I... Okay, I feel like I just get the pass, but I don't have to go in. Because I do not want to go into here to the stupid Pokemon contest. I wonder if the Pokemon she has with her was that Altaria. I wonder if that is randomized or if that's like the Pokemon she normally has. I don't know, but I know that this is lame. Altari! Altari! Oh, that's so cute. Everyone's saying, oh, that's so cute. Okay, please let me out of here. Teehee. She literally said, Teehee. Okay, yeah, everyone go to the freaking Pokemon cute contest. There we go. Are we out here? Yes. Pokemon toddlers and tiaras going on over there. That's not for me. All right, so route 110. Let's go ahead and get an encounter real quick. Oh, what is... Let's just get... Oh, I was going to get that thing that was sticking his head up. So here we go. What do we get? Ooh, a Mamoswine. Ground ice type? Okay. Okay. I, um... Uh... You know, the only thing that sucks about this Mammoth Swine is, am I really going to use, I would have to use this over whom? Because I have Zane, my ground type, I have 
the new Weavile as an ice type. Where does this thing come into play? I feel like this thing has to be tanky enough to take a Drain Kiss, right? Drain Kiss is only 50 experience. Never mind. Never mind. I was like, Drain, Drain Kiss is only 50 attack. Well, son of a gun. Son of a gun. I can't believe that has happened. Well, I guess we're not getting a Route 110 encounter now, are we? I'm so stupid. It'd be a long journey. Let's take a rest in Malville City, which is on the way. I concur. I concur. I'm so mad that I didn't get that freaking Mammoth Swap. I mean, then again, it was definitely gonna, just going to sit in my box. But, dude, the Ruby Nuzlocke like I'm doing right now in, on the Game Boy, like, off camera, my death box is absolutely full because I've just been trying to, like, speed run it. Just, uh, like, just remember the whole game, get through it as fast as I can, pretty much. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bug has, uh, effective, is, uh, super effective on Fairy. I really want to say it is, but I'm not 100% sure. So, we're gonna go over to Fry's. I'm pretty sure it is. I feel like Bug, because I know Bug is good against, like, Grass. I'm pretty sure it's good against Psychic. It might be good against Dark. Man, I'm not good with my typings. I'm not good with my typings. My evasiveness fell sharply. I don't care about that. Let's go for a Flame Charge here. You have Trots. So, okay. So, you're loafing around. Lit, dude. So, now I know if I encounter one of these bad boys in a Illumis to not capture it because it has Trots. Is, which I, is that Slacking's ability, right? That's kind of funny, dude. That's funny to see just a regular Mon have Trot. What's to learn skill swap? I don't know if I want skill swap. Is this, isn't this like a doubles thing? The user employs its psychic power to exchange abilities with the target. I definitely do not ever want a skill swap because I have sniper. And if I accidentally gave someone sniper, uh, that would not be good. I would for sure be getting wiped. Especially if I use especially if I used it by accident. Let's say like I ran into like a Kyogre or something, and I use that. That would be a that would be a fat yikes. That'd be a fat yikes right there. And we cannot have a fat yikes. Go Zane. What up, Zane? It's your boy Zane. Hip Hippopotus. What up, Hippopotus? You like a little tiny Hippopotus man. Let's go for a little water gun action on you. Spray you down. Because you're a dirty hippo. You got mud all over you. Of course that's not going to knock out. Even though it's super effective. But a mammoth swine can't take a draining kiss. That's not super effective. Son of a gun. That makes me so mad. That's okay. I'm actually not that mad. I'm not that mad, but I am definitely mad. We're going to survive. Zane, 211 experience. Margarine grew to level 21. Let's go. Mercs, 21. Let's go. You defeated Rich Boy Isabel. Let's go. Oh, dear. Do you receive $960 for winning? <laughs> oh, yes. We are coming to a close to an end. Do we want to go and do this guy's puzzle? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I care about doing his puzzle. If I'm be. 100% okay route 103 route 103 is route 103 not connected to something else where I would have already had an encounter here this 103 is like an early route it sounds like right three I don't know dude I'm going for it you gotta road them oh yikes we're definitely gonna switch to Zane here actually we don't even need to switch we're good we don't even need to switch He's going to use Uproar. Okay, dude, Rotom is one of my favorite mons. I want to Rotom. You're causing an Uproar. Why are you not using freaking Volt Switch or something better? I don't know why I said Volt Switch. I just wanted to sound cool and act like I know what Rotom can learn. Why do you keep using Uproar? It's so weird. Whatever. I'm just going to use Draining Kiss again and get my HP back from you, Rotom. Adios, my guy. Yopal, what up? Yopal is just taking out Rotom's left and right out here today. 663 experience. Fry is good to level 23. Good job, Fry's. Wally, 13. We are, I mean, Wally's growing up, you know? Wally's growing up out here for us. You weren't led astray by our Roma. What the heck does that even mean? Was not led astray by your, oh. I don't really want to do a double battle. Just in case. Is this like one where I have to like talk to them to... Nope. It's just if they look at you, they just run across the road to fight you. Okay, whatever. Let's see what you got here. Just don't have a Rayquaza, and we will be good to go. 
So a Paris and an Eevee, we we can handle this, I would think. The only thing that sucks is I gotta get Zane out of here. He is, is I'm pretty sure Paris is gonna have some definitely some kind of a grass move that I don't want. So if I do flash, does that hit all three? No, that's it's only one person. Wow. So we'll hit uh Eevee with that, and then we'll switch into fries over here on the Zane side of things. Don't need my marsh pump aka zane going down to some grass move we are quad weak to grass and we don't need that baby doll eyes that is lame what does that even do lower my what my attack come on of course you're gonna lower my attack i'm gonna draining kiss you eevee into death oh critical sniper ability that's what i'm talking about that's that good stuff that is that good stuff right there and we have crossed the time of the episode so this is gonna be the last episode right here our last yeah last um not last episode <laughs> last battle and of course i got sun sport are you like what did i do what did i do to deserve all this i don't know let's go with the flame a charge on paraz unless draining kiss is just gonna do the job it is i mean i mean it's just gonna get the work done for us that's how we roll yopal is just out here killing it fries good job way to take a stun spore like a man and a baby doll eyes like a man. Wally wants ooh. Icy win. Hey yo. Let's do that over. Ooh. It's, I mean it's gotta be over quick attack. I wanna keep Leer for sure. I've definitely learned um that Leer and like stat uh boosting or decreasing moves are pretty good in a Nuzlocke. So that is gonna do it, guys, for Pokemon Omega Ruby Nuzlocke episode randomizer. Episode 5, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Guys, I am almost to 125 subscribers. Go, please, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you think I'm doing. Tell me why you think I suck. And tell me what your favorite Pokemon is. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Why did I just... Shouldn't I have done the finger gun thing? Okay. <laughs>